Presentation means a lot. See, I'm going to give you an example of something that happened today, right? I had a friend of mine who was basically in a moving situation, right? And I went over, I went with them to where they were moving to. Now, they had a transaction that they sent to the homeowner whatsoever. And uh, the transaction was left on pending. You know, it, it didn't go through. It was on pending, right? So anyway, when I pulled up, just rewinding for a bit. When I pulled up, the homeowner came out the house. The homeowner looked at my vehicle. They looked at they looked at who was in the ve what a person like what vehicle the person was coming out of, who they were associated with. The homeowner, the homeowner, I could see took a mental note, you know, of the greatness that she seen. She see a handsome black man with a nice Mercedes Benz vehicle, you know, and she could see the gold glistening from his ears, you know. So you know, she saw King Midas. So I could see that she was taking a mental note. Now my friend, on the other hand, wasn't dressed all up the par like that, you know. My friend was just associated with me. And, you know, it was the, the homeowner was a woman. So I can take it as, you know, the, the person that was moving in was actually a woman. So the homeowner is like, okay, well, look at the guy, look at the vehicle this guy is driving. And he's with her and she's with him. So he he got money. So even if she's not, even if she's not paying it herself, he's probably paying it. You know, see, see, the thing is, you have to understand the psychology, everything. Everything around the world, everything that transpires in this world is mental. You know, wherever you talk, wherever you talk, wherever you act, a lot of everything, pretty much everything begins in the mental. You know, so the transaction was pending, but the homeowner said, no worries, you can move in. You hear that? Any business person. Any business person that's selling jewelry or whatever, selling, you know, selling, uh, selling anything of, you know, valued goods. If a transaction is pending, they're not shipping out whatever the product is until the transaction is cleared. So this homeowner tells the person I'm with, you can move in today. So I say this to say to you presentation means a lot what happened here what happened here the homeowner and i scolded the person that i was that i was with just to make that as a note for the way they dressed what made the person get the place was the fact that i was like i came with a presentation that was i captivating you got somebody pulls up in a late like like one of the latest mercedes benz you know, the guy doesn't look all ghetto, you know, with a fitted cap on, you know, you know, because everything right. You see a guy with glasses pulling up with a Mercedes Benz, you know, the guy's not the fucking, you know, thug or whatever. The description that people put out there as a black man. They see a civilized human being in a Mercedes Benz. So this automatically shed light onto someone who were not at that economic uh, economic position that I'm in. So, and this is, I say, you got to take this also into consideration is that the people that you are around can benefit from being around you. Have you ever, here goes, you could be somewhere where it's a party or something like that and you're a well-known person and they, you know, you come with somebody whatsoever, the people that know you, if they want to show love and give you drinks and stuff like that, they're gonna give you the people that you're with some stuff too, because off of the strength of you, you know, like when you're when you in life, when you are a person of prestige. When I'm in a hot, when I go down to Haiti, they know my last name, and once they see Elmira, that's priority. Oh, Elmira, you know, go get Elmira's bags. Go get Elmira's bags. You know, see, that's because my father. My father done so much in Port-au-Prince. When he goes in the air, when he goes, walks through the airport, it's like you talking, basically, it's VIP. Exceptional service. And sometimes that exceptional service can fall onto others. So maybe you should take that into consideration or keep that as a note that sometimes you being great can benefit others. It doesn't even have, you don't even have to do anything. Just by the person standing next to you, you become a blessing to someone else. But this is not to get to, you know, to lose focus of what I'm saying. You know, it's just to get you to see things that come with dressing to impress. There's a lot of hobos and busters on social media 
that's not living the lifestyle that I live or obtaining and maintaining what I do or what I achieve or what I have. And they get all mad and they make all these crazy videos talking about Leonard L. Mira's a scammer or Leonard L. Mira does this, he doesn't do his work. Leonard L. Mira, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't really do that, it's not him doing it, you know, whatsoever. He's making money off of scamming. You know, he's too materialistic. People who don't care about their image do anything. And this is what separated me, that what separates me from a lot of people. You know, is that in my culture, Haitian culture, we are very sharp. And I'm going to say this to people who are Haitian. If you, I would like for you to watch the movie, it, you know, not the movie, the, the snippet. Is that from by Gordon Latsis? He has a season right now. And in the beginning of the season, you hear Gordon Latsis. He starts saying Gordon Latsis, what I say. He's scolding his child for wearing slippers and fucking socks. You know, see, that's, see I know in America, that's a cool thing. But for us Haitians, old school Haitians, we look at it as a form of disrespect. You know, you don't have any class to put on fucking socks, like socks and fucking sandals or fucking slides. That and then go end up walking publicly like that. To us, that's ghetto. So Gordon Latus was scolding his daughter for trying to go to school with slides on his and socks. You know what I'm saying? So. In our culture, at a very young age, they teach us not to be thugs or dress like thugs and street motherfuckers. They want us to have an image that's sophisticated, an image that is clean, an image that can be marketable. There's a lot of people out here, again, that don't care about their image. So they get on social media with dirty clothes on, you know, they, they put on do-rags and this and that, you know, trying to be all hardcore and gangster. And they wonder why they don't have any business. You know, you, you, you got guys like, you know, this bum making movies and or videos in his basement, talking about Leonard L. Mirror, he's, he's, he, he's not supposed to be a model. You know, this is not a modeling industry. This, you know, why, why? See, the thing is, when you dress to impress, it makes you very marketable. It makes people want to gravitate to you. And not only that, when especially if you're able to back up the things that you're doing for customers, it makes customers want to spend money with you. You know? So, yeah, today was a very interesting, you know, experience, you know, and I want to share that with you. And maybe you guys and women can start updating yourself. Fuck it. Listen, I don't care, give a damn how, how, how down you are on your fucking luck. Take care of yourself because you never know what opportunity may be waiting for you. You're, you, you may be down on your luck and, you know, you feel like you don't got to take care of yourself. Bullshit. Take care of yourself. Even if you, even if your money low, take care of yourself. Stand tall. If you go into a job interview and you bust it down, you think the people are going to have mercy for you? Mercy upon your situation? If anything, they're going to be like, yo, no, we're not even taking you in. Even if you had that, make a way to keep yourself up. Even if you're down, you know what I'm saying? Keep yourself up. So with that said, I conclude this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.